Hey there, Christian from Rackner here, and today I'm going to walk you through how to install Moodle on an Ubuntu server. If you're looking to create an online learning platform, Moodle is a fantastic choice. It is an open source learning management system that is widely used in schools, universities, and other educational institutions. It is totally free and highly customizable. But before we dive into the installation process, make sure that you have an Ubuntu server with at least five gigabytes of disk space, one CPU core, and 500 megabytes of memory. If you haven't already, check out Rackner.com for hosting solutions that can meet these requirements. Also, take a look at our recent video on how to order a VPS hosting at Rackner. You can find it on our channel to get your server up and running quickly and efficiently. Now, let me share my screen here and let's get started with the tutorial. The commands that we're gonna use in this video are all in the description down below this video. So please check them out and follow along with me. All right, first we need to update the system packages to make sure that everything is up to date and install some essential packages. Open your terminal and run the following commands. Next, we need to install Apache, MySQL, and PHP. First, add the PHP, PPA, and update. Do note that Moodle version 4.0 we are installing is recommended to be paired with PHP version 7.4. For future Moodle versions, please just go ahead and check on the recommended PHP version and install accordingly. Now run the MySQL secure installation to set the root password. Make sure to write that root password down. We will need it here in just a little bit. Follow the on-screen guide for the prompts. Next, we'll need to install some additional PHP extensions and other required software. Run this command. To ensure that PHP version 7.4 is installed, use this command. If the version number is 7.4, you are good to go. Then restart Apache and load the new modules. Now navigate to the forward slash opt directory and clone the Moodle repository. Use this command to view all available branches. We're going to use Moodle version 4.0, so track the Moodle underscore 400 underscore stable branch and check it out. Once that's done, copy Moodle to the web directory and set the appropriate permissions. Run this series of commands. Now we need to configure MySQL. First edit the MySQL configuration file. Scroll down to the MySQL D section and add the following lines. Hit Control plus X, then Y, and then Enter to save and exit. We'll go ahead and restart MySQL for the changes to take full effect. Next, create the Moodle database and user. You can do this by running the following command. In the MySQL shell, run this. Remember to replace your password with your actual password. Now we'll make the web root temporarily writable by running this command. Okay, so now we can start setting up your Moodle instance. Open your browser and go to this address to complete the Moodle installation. If you have your domain name pointed to the server, you can visit here instead to perform that installation. Now follow the prompts and enter the required details as shown on screen. Make sure that all of the system checks are passed and then hit confirm. The installation process will now begin and it should only take a few minutes. Once the installation process is complete, we will be prompted to set up our profile. Just fill it out as you need, sticking to the required fields only. Next are the site settings. Again, fill out the information accordingly. Finally, we get to the site registration. Choose a country and make sure that the admin email address is correct. Opt to get notified for new releases and security alerts, and then click on register your site. And that's it, you've successfully installed Moodle. However, there are just a few more steps that we'd like to complete before we start configuring the courses. Go to site administration, click on server, and then click on system paths. Follow the instructions on screen to set the path as follows. Hit save changes. 
Now head back to our terminal. We want to revert the permissions we granted to the web root earlier by running this command. So that's basically it. You are now good to go and configure your very own educational platform with Moodle. Enjoy. And there you have it. We have successfully installed Moodle on our Ubuntu server. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a big thumbs up for us and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this one. And remember to visit Rackner.com for all of your hosting needs. We have several guides on our YouTube channel to help you out along the way. So thank you for tuning in today and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.